I got something wrong with me. That's the first thing to know. I got threads in my head. Based on a best-selling novel and set in 1950s New York, Motherless Brooklyn was a labor of love for star, writer, and director Edward Norton. He worked on it for nearly two decades. So did you ever hit a wall where you thought, is this worth it? And then how did you power through Sure, that? yeah, yeah. There's lots of time, I mean, but, but look, on, on the other hand, I think um, I, I'm the luckiest actor in the world. I, I, in those years, I worked on Wes Anderson films and I made Birdman with Ina Ridu and I did movies with Spike Lee and, right. I, you know, I wasn't like in a room banging my head against <laughs> the wall. Um, in many ways, the movie is a classic whodunit, except the private investigator Norton plays has Tourette's syndrome. Can't you ever cut that out? I'm sorry. Touch it, Bailey! I'm sorry. How did you decide how to express this character's version of Tourette syndrome. That's a, it's an interesting question because Tourette syndrome is a very it's a it's a very individualistic condition. Meeting people, watching documentaries, Sorry. I sort of cherry picked dimensions of the condition that to me were Jeez. funny, poignant and painful and then also kind of touching. Boys Frank, frankly, frankly, Franco. Norton is surrounded by recognizable faces like Bruce Willis and Alec Baldwin. Set designers recreated the original Penn Station using practical and digital effects, but the rest of the movie was shot at historic locations that still exist, mainly in Manhattan, where many of the cast live. I read too that at one point, you and Edward and Alec were literally shooting a scene in essentially your own backyard. That's true. Did you That's walk true. to work that day? I walked to work <laughs> almost every day on this movie. <laughs> This movie also marks Willem Dafoe's 111th film credit. Do you remember every character? Do you remember lines? Oh, I remember. I remember because it's so tied to my life, you yeah. know? I, sometimes when I have to remember things, I think of what film or what play was I doing at that time? And then I can, through that association, I remember what was going on in my life. The cast is rounded out by British actress Gugu Mbatha-Ra. The detective genre is, you know, and the noir feel, it's just so cool. So um, I also loved history at school. So for <laughs> me, uh, it's, it's sort of a, a nerdy way to kind of, you know, continue to study that and, and feel, you know, like I'm stepping into the period. A period lots of audiences love. A bygone era in the big city that never gets old.